Hey everyone, hello and welcome to Rutana's Box and Stop and another week in pickups. Today we start with another spoiler for my other channel um, because we got a loot gaming this week so um, you can see this on Rutana's unboxing. Um, maybe already next week but I doubt it. I'll wait this until the um, next loot anime has also arrived so I can show them in one week together. But look forward to it. Next up. Next up we have this cute little Beatrice Nendroid. As you know I collect Nendroids and I already got Ram, Ram and Emilia so I had to get Beatrix too. From the anime Rizio. Wonderful anime if you ask me. I mean, I'm already a fan of the isekai genre, I'm a fan of the horror genre, and ReZero is pretty much both of this with cute girls on top of it, so yeah. Go watch ReZero if you haven't yet, and if you can stomach, stomach some horror elements to it. Next up! Next we have these cute little amiibos of Pearl and Marina. And um, as you can see, maybe they didn't really arrive very well. Um, Amazon decided to fold it over to put it in a package to save space, which I'm a bit mad about, especially since uh, the next item I will show you will has also arrived to, uh, at the same day, so they had could have packed it together in one um, in one box. I tested it out, it would have worked. They would have fit perfectly together in one box and this wouldn't have been necessary. But since I unbox Amiibos anyway, I didn't mind it completely. Uh, because the box already gets a bit destroyed. Um, but since I want to open this up for you to closer inspection, I also brought over this one. This is an amiibo I had for quite a while but hadn't had the chance or time to open up yet and so I will do this together with Pearl and Marina. It's the huge ass Detective Pikachu amiibo. So let's open them up and let's take a better look at them. So here we are with the unwrapped amiibo. Uh, this is the Really huge and cool Detective Pikachu amiibo. I love the base. And yeah, he's he's just amazing. And look how big he is. Here we have Marina. Or cutie Octoling. And with her I want to give a challenge to everyone who ever complained about artists whitewashing Marina uh, just because her skin is a bit brighter in some uh, artworks than on the original artwork. If you have a Marina amiibo, make pictures of her around your house at different locations, at different light levels, at different uh, possibilities and then go to your PC and compare these to each other. And I bet the skin color will look different on each photo. Maybe this gives you a little uh, hint at what color theory and light lighting means. Okay, less controversial, a little pearl. Awesome, cute, punk inkling. Rapper Inkling. <laughs> uh, all Amiibos, all three are amazing in quality and in design and I'm happy I got them. So I would have got them anyways for my Amiibo collection. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go to the next thing. And here's the other item that came in the box. It's the Octopus Traveler Collector's Edition. Or Traveler's Compendium Edition because Calling a collector's edition a collector's edition is just not <laughs> enough anymore today. And I will look at it in a separate video that you will be able to see 
yeah, I think you'll be able to see it on Tuesday on this channel. So stay tuned. Next item. And while we are on the co uh, topic of collector's editions for the Switch, here's Timbleweed Park. Um, Timbleweed Park. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got this from Limited Run. I think it was the very first uh, Switch release. And I'm very happy I got this. Uh, I will not open the collector's edition or the vinyls that I picked up along with it here on this video. Uh, this will also be a special video that will come out on this channel, um, I think, yeah, next week, Tuesday. I need uh, stuff for Tuesdays on this channel uh, for the duration that I take to work on huge scripted videos like the Breath of the Wild video I released recently, the um, How to Improve Breath of the Wild video. I have a lot more like this coming, most of them about Zelda. Go figures. <laughs> and um, they take a lot of time and I don't have that much time to work on one specific video because um, I have still work to do. Uh, this is not my full-time job. <laughs> So this is not even a side job. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Uh, in order to have the time without not uploading anything on this channel, you will see more of these smaller collector edition videos on Tuesdays. So this will be the week, uh, the Tuesday after next Tuesday, basically. Look forward to it. Next thing. And next up we have yet another Switch game, um, and it's another limited rare game. It's Shelter's Generation, released by Super Rare Games, the physical copy of the game. I got also some trading cards along with it, um, both from Shelter Generations and from Flame in the Flood, right? <laughs> Flame in the Flood. Um, where I'm still missing one card, so I hope I get this card this time. And again, this will be a special video, again on a Tuesday, and it will be the Tuesday in two weeks, probably. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> Next up. And as you can see, we reached my favorite part of these videos, the artist support. Um, here we have stickers from Atsu. Again, you can find all links to her work in the description as well. But here you also have a good card on her. A uh, look at her card. And from her, I got this super cute fire emblem heroes dancer stickers. We have Inigo. His mother Olivia. Azura in her performing Nord dress. And Noor Shigure. Which is all in all really cool. <laughs> uh, I'm happy I got these stickers. They are so cute. And yeah, go check her out please. If you can and if you have any interest. She probably has stuff more than Fire Emblem, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> so yeah, go and check her out. Next thing. Next up we have a delivery from Happy Starling. Um, if you remember her before, we had her before on this format of my videos. Um, yeah, I purchased from her again because now she has stamps, and you know how much I love stamps. There we go. And I'm really eager to try them out, but be first, be, uh, before that, there was more, and I didn't expect this. Um, here we have three really cute stickers of Chrome. Robin and Lisa from Fire Emblem Awakening. 
Then I got this beautiful summer robin print with the gold accents added afterwards and beautiful note and what really surprised me I also got this beautiful sketch of Robin this is so cool thank you so much for it I really didn't expect it a sketch this is so awesome and um, she also added an ink pad so I don't have to get out my little Splatoon ink pad again. So, oh, this is still see it. Maybe I should get out my Splatoon ink pad because that's right next to me. But it's not something that's hard to open up. Try out the stems. Oh, the single robin stem stems beautifully, and the self ink stems. Also stamp beautiful. No, just he's a bit twisted. <laughs> there we have. Cool. If you can't read what's written above him, it's um, our bonds give us strength. Here we have the single robin. Here we have the fitting robin to the chrome. It's time to stick. It's time to tip the scales. <laughs> yeah, the Fire Emblem Heroes um, versus things, spellings, yeah, don't matter. And yeah, that's um, part of the script of my Brothers of the White video, my last one. So I really, really love these. These stamps are absolutely adorable. Let's put it this way. Thank you so much for the stuff and um, yeah, next thing. And here you can see as the last item today we have one big item, uh, one big package better said. Um, and it's the delicious fan sign from, from Nini and Rockwell. Both are sisters and uh, it's Fire Emblem. And it's all together with sweets. Uh, nice protection notes. Ooh, guess this is for recipes on your own. You want to add or something? And yes, I only go over it quickly and loosely, not showing you everything, of course. So if you think that these artworks are great, go and buy it. Um, I got the huge package, which came also with this cute standee of Kieran and Faye. I really love how Fire Emblem Heroes gets all together, all Fire Emblems together, and it kind of gets the fans together, this is awesome. <laughs> Here we have the business cards of both of them. Both are beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Like tarot cards in small form. Um, go check them out, please. Again, links are down there in the description as well. Then we've got stickers. You know I love my stickers. We've got these beautiful poster cards with Roy and Linnea, the Valentine's update. And here in the back you can see Lynn and Hector 
Hector wants to go in between, Lynn stops him. <laughs> also the Valentine editions, I think. And here we have last year's summer. Oh, somewhat. We have summer characters. Um, we've got Takumi by now and we've got Robin last year and the... Oh, is this Grima Robin? This could be Grima Robin, her eyes are red. <laughs> and um, we have Hayden here. We have Chrome, we have Cecilia and we have Robin. Oh, now I get it. Now I get it. It's Fallen versions. It's Grima Robin. It's uh, Fallen Celica. It's Risen Chrome, which is a fan idea. It's of course Fallen Hayden. It's Possessed Takumi. And it's Grima Female Robin. This is cool. This is a neat idea. Took me a moment to realize it, but it's really, really cool. And as you can see, the artwork is just divine. And here we have... A oh no, it's not a case. I thought it's a... That this is a, a case for uh, Dina, uh, Dina 4 uh, images. Um, uh, it's a document folder, I think. That's how they call it. In Japan, these are extremely popular as, as bonuses for limited editions and such. So I assumed it's the same, but it's just a Clear print, which I think, I think is really, really cool. Here we have Bravelin. We have Valentine's Mars. Wedding Mars. Bridal Mars. We have Selika in her final form. Princess Selika. We have Reinhardt. And we have Xander. Really, really cool. And of course, the big thingy. Back here, it's a tote bag. This is food themed after all, so a shopping bag certainly isn't wrong. We have Ike and Camilla here, which is really, really cool. Okay, I just took the time to look through the art book and I have to show you this artwork. This is my pairing! Female Noir, uh, female Hoshido, Corin with Kaze. This is my pair! Ah, oh, they're cute! <laughs> so yeah, this brings us to the end of today's video. This great artwork. <laughs> Again, please check the artist out, uh, artists out, um, buy from them. Their work is great. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you again next week at the next week in pickups. <laughs> Until next time, see ya! Thank you so much for watching. You can check out my other videos covering collector's editions on the playlist on the upper left. Expect a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Thursday and a Lego Dimension video every Friday. Take a look on my other channel covering mystery box unboxings on the lower right. Until next time, see ya!